crazy. Not crazy crazy, but a little bit of a change from last off. So the wall was there, obviously. Got rid of that wall, plaster off. Like I said, that MDF, it was actually MDF, not uh, masonite, which, which I originally thought it was. Floor's exposed now. Pretty botchy. That's obviously going to have to be all replaced. Um, stumps. Not in good nick, obviously. Um, timber not in good nick. Just falling to bits, but so. Oh, that's got to be, we knew this was going to be the outcome. We knew what the floor was going to be like. It might be a case of me resetting stumps completely. Um, the whole whole thing you know so this set out looks to be about right um 1800 by 1200 but it doesn't matter if i put another row in it's just going to make the house more secure anyway if we if i can dodge theirs and just do you know 150 stumps brand new stumps um including like the extension obviously um the house is already off to a better start with the foundations also like the joists and barriers like the the bearers are in good nick, but the joists are all up the wazoo. So um, I think it's going to be a case of me going through and tapping and feeling and sort of, as you can see, like some are just past the use by date, um, which they should, that shouldn't exist, but it does. So um, the house itself obviously hasn't been taken too much care of. That's why we're going to try and change that. But the house underneath the subfloor, I mean, there's a bit of bit of crap laying around. There's a concrete stump there. Um, there's a bit of crap laying around, but I'll do the final rake on that anyway and clean that completely up. And I might even get, you know, some some dirt in there and smudge it out to level it all out. So there's no, you know, drying potholes, no drying um, little dams. So, um, yeah, I think today is already off to a start, a good start. And we'll just try and keep trucking along. For now, I'm gonna try and get some cleanup going on because I've made such a mess. I've got that pile there. I've got a pile over the back here. I've got this pile here. I found some chipboard that will probably go on the outside of the house once I bring that down. So I'm gonna take all this MDF and timber around to the fire. And um, I think it's gonna be 21 today. So I think I might burn that off later on and continue to keep Keep piling it up and burn. getting hard now trying to rip all this old horsehair plaster out it's coming down but it's a bit bit of a task and we got this sort of section to go here and that section to go there what i'm thinking is is i'm gonna go have some lunch then oh, plaster my eye. oh i'm gonna go have some lunch then i'm gonna come in and take what timber i can head to the fire heat Probably need to dock some up as well, actually. And then I'm going to come in and have a good sweep up, try and get this place a little bit cleaner. I've got a bin coming sometime this week. And obviously throw, you know, all this rubbish and the horse hair in it. And um, <clears throat> that'll just make it so much more easier to work in here, I reckon. Also with all that gone. I've only done probably a third of the plaster. So I dare say we're going to have to have a, you know, a couple bins taken off, but that's all right. That's what all, that's the part of it. We knew that once we started it. So for the rest of the day, just keep pulling apart. I think the main thing is when you're doing this sort of thing, like me and Lani have done one now. And I think the, when we sort of done the start of the first one, um, I was, well, I just sort of done everything myself. Um, at the start of the first one, it was sort of like, go, 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 and not think about it. And also not clean up after yourself. Um, like just by that, I mean like doing one area, like do a bedroom and then clean it up. Um, don't just like keep tearing at it and tearing at it and just making so much mess. It just, it overwhelms you. 
Um, so I figured, you know, halfway through the other house, the best way to do it is just chip away at it. Like there's no, well, other some people's circumstances are different, but in a circumstance like this, if you've got a rental or you've got somewhere to stay, just chip away at it. Just keep hitting, hitting spots, you know, like do one little bedroom, bang, done, you know, clean up, take the floor out. Then do the next next room, you know, clean that up, move on. Um, I think that's the easiest way. People sort of, well, not people, I'm, I'm speaking on a, a broad term there, but myself, um, I just sort of got too carried away and I was really keen to get it done. And like, I, and you still carry that enthusiasm, but in this way, but you're just more clean, it's more structured and it's, it's easier to do. It's just so much easier. Um, but yeah, so that's just, that's my little advice when you're doing it. But there's still a lot of things I don't know. Like I, we're just going along with it. Me and Lani are just, just having a go. So I think another thing too is like, just listen to people. Like I'm a joint a carpenter by trade. So out on site, I was just constantly asking people different questions. Like I think a lot of people in our industry just don't are too afraid to ask questions. And that's sort of the, the big downfall. You sort of need to come into these projects with a little bit of knowledge of everything. Like, yeah, you're going to know your trade, but you need to know a little bit more than that. Um, and especially like just, I was asking plasterers thing. I was asking plumbers things. I was asking Sparky's thing. Like Sparky's something you definitely don't want to stuff around with, but just an idea of like, just little questions and just trying to keep, keep on top of those sort of things. Um, but yeah, just keep having a go. stuff is ridiculously tough and dusty and heavy and noisy it's just one of those things that you just got to keep ticking along with once you can strip that back you start to get a picture of what's actually going on i'm like this now i can i can envision this walls all straightened up cleaned up obviously screws and nails and insulation Old insulation out, new insulation in. Has a, there's no insulation here, but you can just start to get a bit of a picture now in your head. It's, it starts to make it feel a little bit real. Um, just with like complications with doing these sorts of things, you sort of get deterred and it feels like that it's never going to get finished and you know, it's never, you're never going to get able to do it. There's, there's so many things that you can think about and get caught up in this you just start to rip some things open and start to clean it up a bit you can get a bit of a picture it starts to feel good it starts to feel really good there's something i have noticed and it's that a lot of these studs are pre-existing um i'm I, I don't think it was lined something else i think it may have been a house at one stage tore down and rebuilt because in the studs you can see in the studs there's all these like cladding holes like what like the external width the external width um what well, the actual width of a weatherboard of an, an external weatherboard you see the I'll bring in here you can see the see sort of every nail there and that sort of matches these here sort of thing so something tells me that maybe this house wasn't like this it was um reused or repurposed out of an older house or of somewhat um or the walls used to be different um those walls used to be an external part of the house or something like that but these are things that you just you, you, yeah you, you see and you wonder what's the actual story of it where did it all begin what was this was this just a shed on some some bloke's bit of land and he's 
stripped the timber and made it all neat and this bloke brought it and built a house out of it or you know what what's the go this yeah the ceiling's still up as well or all, all that ceiling's got to come down as well and we're not keeping that that's sort of if we want that pattern i can easily do that myself um just out of forming mdf to that shape and nailing it on which will probably mimic i dare say something like that up there just sort of keep that traditional style um what was there you know that originality um but that ceiling obviously i'll get up in the roof and just bang it down on the ground it's just too much work trying to bring it down over the top here as you see like the walls are so heavy um that plaster is so heavy that horsehair plaster and cast plaster it's you don't want that on top of your head um, I did that in High Street. What I actually did was, is I got a plaster jack and I put timbers across um, to bring down an old rose, which was actually equivalent size to sort of this by myself. So I would, I put timbers across, timbers across, timbers across, and then I got a plaster jack and I tightened it all the way up. I could, and then what I did was, I got up in the ceiling, cut all the hairs. Because how they like they used to wrap it around the joists, um, the rafters in the ceiling, sorry, or hanging beams or, hang, or hanging battens or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I cut all those off and I just sort of gave it a tap down with my boot and it cracked it all. And then I got around on the other side and I got like pry bars, you know, three or four pry bars, and I just kept working each side of it and just popped it off and lowered that ceiling rose down like I mean the ceiling rose was like 50 mil thick oh, bloody two meters wide by three meters long and it was a big rose and I just lowered it down on the on the um plaster jack and then just tilted it up against the wall and it was I actually think I had a mate there helping me with it or was it by myself can't remember it was a big job and um yeah it was it was pretty hard like it was not not easy so for these sorts of ceilings, I just know that it's just easier to just get up in the roof, kick it down and, you know, move the insulation. There's no blowing insulation. They've obviously had that taken out. Um, and just pink bats, as you can see up there, pink bats take putting in. Um, so that's that makes it so much easier knowing that I can just move those bats from a different part of the ceiling and, and kick it down. But yeah, so that, I don't think I'm gonna do that today. I think I'll, I've got all this timber, like I said, I've got to move all this sh rubbish just laying around. Um, I'm going to take that out to the fire so I can burn that. And um, yeah, I think I think that's another day's job, but we'll see how carried away I get. I do get in modes. All right, so I've cleaned this up reasonably good, which was today's task. Um, bit of corners hanging up there, but Everything's pretty good, but then I thought, oh, well, I'm sort of here now, so I may as well keep going. So I sort of ripped off a ceiling in what will be the hallway. And I've also taken out the existing doorway that was there that previous owners had. And it really gives you the sense of what it's actually gonna feel like. It, it, it feels sort of surreal, like you sort of, you imagine yourself walking through the hallway. So it's actually starting to come, I know we're so far off, but it just gives you the idea of what's actually going to go on. Um, it sort of gives me the the want to sort of do this house first now, rather than do the extension. It's just like it gives you that sense of, you know, three meter ceilings, like no houses are built like that anymore. It's just going to be like, it's trying to restore it back to where it was. It's sort of cool, you know, but yeah. I've just also exposed this ceiling, obviously, I don't know, you can sort of see the roof line there. Um, <clears throat> and it's sort of, it's where the old roof line goes. And I dare say this was probably the old kitchen. That sort of roof, a non plastered roof, shiplap or dado board or lining board or whatever you want to call it, roof, it sort of says to me that it probably was a kitchen this area. Um, and also being like, that's the back door. That was obviously where the roof was. Skilled down, that's obviously where the veranda used to be. 
Um, it just sort of makes sense. And then like even on top of that, like there's that through there, which obviously is the old veranda roof as well. So, I mean, all signs sort of point to this. I'd love to know a little bit of history about it, but I mean, this house probably doesn't really have that much history, but it just has owners. It's actually really, you know, once you start to knock some timber back in here and, and this walkway just starts to open up. And I was thinking sort of, I sort of suggested to Lani that we do an archway here because we had these corners, but now, now I'm sort of thinking that we'll remove these corners um, leave the rows obviously, remove the corners, remove these sheets of plaster then, and then cornice, follow that cornice around rather than having an archway that you walk through. Um, I don't know, we sort of got to get some inspiration and maybe some ideas from you guys. So it, it would suit an archway, but maybe not. Like it, it would feel grand, but I think it's the right place for it. So yeah, so it just gives you a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like through the hallway and the hallway will continue down there powder room will be there Appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. Apple. Well, that's all down. It wasn't too much of a challenge, actually. Um, also, it's daylight savings outside, so it's 5:30. So we've got oh, Lani's here. Let's go say hi. It's 5.30 and the sun's still shining, it's freaking awesome. And this, this only gets longer, so it's, it's awesome. So that's, that's that ceiling done. It's opened up, got a good pile of wood there actually. Either firewood or might repurpose it into a, maybe a little greenhouse or something like that. I have been telling Lani that I would build her a greenhouse maybe out there somewhere. Just a small one, nice little header beam rafter. Anyway. She's more Sorry, interested. I'm just really excited about my asparagus growing. Oh wow, that looks massive. Cool. What am I supposed to notice? Oh my god! That's cool too. Well, how did I not notice that? I was too worried about my asparagus. <laughs> that looks really good. That's insane. That's Why not... didn't they keep it like that? I'm not sure. Wow. So yeah, obviously the ceiling was below it, and now That's it's back really open. That's really high ceiling. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Well, it's still three meters. Well, it's the same as all this. Yeah, it's still. That's... It's the original. It's I original. don't know why they made it so small. I'm not sure, but Idiots. it's going back to there. That's cool. I think it was just to, to keep that slide sort of like the bevel. Yeah. Um, we should do the hallway ceiling and shit flat because it's what it originally was. You're just gonna replace something. Sorry, we're watching too much Restoration Australia and getting all these ideas. <laughs> That's cool. You Very good. Very happy. Doesn't look like I've done much, but I have. No, you've done heaps. You've have put you... this room out. You've taken the fire out. The <laughs> dungeon is now gone. We call this the dungeon because when we bought the house, I don't know if Jackson said it or not, but they said this was a bedroom. It's tiny. But yeah, so we call it the dungeon. Well, at least I won't smell anymore. Nah, all the timber's about to be burnt. Cool. You all right? Yeah, awesome. So Jackson messaged me today saying that my asparagus had grown and I was a bit overly excited. But we can't eat it yet because for the first year, because it was a crown, you got to let it do its thing and grow out. Um, so we'll let that go to seed and then when the flowers die, we'll cut it right back. But we have some asparagus shooting out. 
which is awesome. You have to let it grow out for the first year so the roots develop and then the spears will get thicker. So that's what we're gonna do. So we can't eat so we can't eat the asparagus straight away. But that's alright, that's I could exciting. Eat that right now, no doubt. Yeah, no, you could. I reckon you could, but I don't want to ruin it because it takes so long. Don't sneakily do it. <laughs> I will know. <laughs> but yeah, so that's exciting. So with the kumquat tree, I tried one the other day. They're very bitter. They're not very nice. But I think I might make some marmalade with them. So I should pick all these on the weekend and make some jam. And then this apple tree is... Whoa. Bless you. <laughs> this apple tree has done really well. It's got so many flowers on it. And buds. So we might even get apples this year, Jax. Mm. Might take a couple years. But that's promising that it actually worked. Nectarine hasn't done anything yet, but hey, it's just the beginning of spring. That's nectarine, is it? Which one's the nectarine? That's nectarine. That's blood orange. That's mandarin. Nice. Yeah. All right, Will, let's go. Mm.